So I'll say it all again. Welcome home to St. Peter's, everyone. Like and subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, give us that thumbs up. And of course, if you would be so kind as to give us a follow on Facebook. It's been a bit of a challenge getting on to all of our social media platforms to make sure you can join us for prayer, but we're glad to have you here in our midst. We are having morning prayer. There is no evening prayer tonight. I have uh, my Doctor of Ministry Studies. I appreciate your support and prayers in that regard and uh, look forward to sharing some of the fruits of those labors with you down into the future. But for now, dear friends, let's mark the hour with morning prayer. Here we go. To the Lord our God belong mercies and forgivenesses, though we have rebelled against him. Neither have we obeyed the voice of the Lord our God to walk in his laws which he set before us. Let us humbly confess our sins unto Almighty God. Almighty and most merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from thy ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against thy holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done, and we have done those things which we ought not to have done. But thou, O Lord, have mercy upon us, Spare thou those who confess their faults. Restore thou those who are penitent, according to thy promises declared unto humankind in Christ Jesus our Lord. And grant, O most merciful Father, for his sake, that we may hereafter live a godly, righteous, and sober life to the glory of thy holy name. Amen. The Almighty and merciful Lord grant us absolution and remission of all our sins, true repentance, amendment of life, and the grace and consolation of his Holy Spirit. Amen. O Lord, open thou our lips, and our mouth shall show forth thy praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Please join me in unison for the antiphon and invitatory. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy. O come, let us adore him. O come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us heartily rejoice in the strength of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and show ourselves glad in him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are all the corners of the earth and the strength of the hills is his also. The sea is his and he made it and his hands prepared the dry land. O come, let us worship and fall down and kneel before the Lord our Maker, for he is the Lord our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Today, if ye will hear his voice, harden not your hearts as in the provocation and as in the day of temptation in the wilderness, when your fathers tempted me, proved me, and saw my works. Forty years long was I grieved with this generation and said, it is a people that do err in their hearts, for they have not known my ways, unto whom I swear in my wrath that they should not enter into my rest. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy. O come, let us adore him. Our Psalms this morning, 97, 99, and 100, will read responsively by full verse. The Lord is king, let the earth rejoice, let the many coastlands be glad. Clouds and thick darkness are all around her. Righteousness and justice are the foundations of her throne. Fire goes before God and consumes the Lord's adversaries on every side. Her lightnings light up the world. The earth sees and trembles. The mountains melt like wax before the Lord, before the Lord of all the earth. The heavens proclaim her righteousness and all the peoples behold her glory. All worshippers of images are put to shame. Those who make their boast in worthless idols, all gods bow down before the Lord. Zion hears and is glad, and the towns of Judah rejoice because of your judgments, O God. For you, O Lord, are most high over all the earth. You are exalted far above all gods. The Lord loves those who hate evil. She guards the lives of her faithful. She rescues them from the hand of the wicked. Light dawns for the righteous and joy for the upright in heart. Rejoice in the Lord, O you righteous, and give thanks to her holy name. The Lord is king, let the peoples tremble. She sits enthroned upon the cherubim, let the earth quake. The Lord is great in Zion. She is exalted over all the peoples. 
Let them praise your great and awesome name. Holy is the Lord. Mighty ruler, lover of justice, you have established equity. You have executed justice and righteousness in Jacob. Extol the Lord our God. Worship at the Lord's footstool. Holy is God. Moses and Aaron were among her priests. Samuel also was among those who <clears throat> called on her name. They cried to the Lord, and she answered them. She spoke to them in the pillar of cloud. <laughs> Excuse me. They kept her decrees and the statutes that the Lord gave them. O Lord our God, you answered them. You were a forgiving God to them, but an avenger of their wrongdoings. Extol the Lord our God and worship at the Lord's holy mountain, for the Lord our God is holy. Make a joyful noise to the Lord, all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come into God's presence with singing. Know that the Lord is God. It is she that made us, and we are hers. We are her people and the sheep of her pasture. Enter the Lord's gates with thanksgiving. Go into God's courts with praise. Give thanks to the Lord and bless God's name. For the Lord is good. Her steadfast love endures forever and her faithfulness to all generations. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. Then he charged them, saying to them, <clears throat> I am about to be gathered to my people. Bury me with my ancestors in the cave in the field of Ephron the Hittite, in the cave at the field at Machpelah near Mamre in the land of Canaan, in the field that Abraham bought from Ephron the Hittite as a burial site. There Abraham and his wife Sarah were buried. There Isaac and his wife Rebekah were buried. And there I buried Leah. The field and the cave that is in it were purchased from the Hittites. When Jacob ended his charge to his sons, he drew up his feet into the bed, breathed his last, and was gathered to his people. Then Joseph threw himself on his father's face and wept over him and kissed him. Joseph commanded the physicians in his service to embalm his father. So the physicians embalmed Israel. They spent 40 days in doing this, for that is the time required for embalming. And the Egyptians wept for him 70 days. When the days of weeping for him were past, Joseph addressed the household of Pharaoh. If now I have found favor with you, please speak to Pharaoh as follows. My father made me swear an oath, he said. I am about to die. In the tomb that I hewed out for myself in the land of Canaan, there you shall bury me. Now therefore let me go up so that I may bury my father, then I will return. Pharaoh answered, Go up and bury your father, as he made you swear to do. So Joseph went up to bury his father. With him went up all the servants of Pharaoh, the elders of his household, and all the elders of the land of Egypt, as well as all the household of Joseph, his brothers, and his father's household. Only their children, their flocks, and their herds were left in the land of Goshen. Both chariots and charioteers went up with him. It was a great company. When they came to the threshing floor of Atad, which is beyond the Jordan, they held a very great and sorrowful lamentation, and he observed a time of mourning for his father seven days. When the Canaanite inhabitants of the land saw the mourning on the threshing floor of Atad, they said, this is a grievous mourning on the part of the Egyptians. Therefore, the place was named Abel Mizraim. It is beyond the Jordan. Thus his sons did for him as he instructed him. They carried him to the land of Canaan and buried him in the cave in the field at Machpelah, the field near Mamre, which Abraham bought as a burial site from Ephraim the Hittite. After he had buried his father, Joseph returned to Egypt with his brothers and all who had gone up with him to bury his father. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our first canticle is Song of Pilgrimage. Together, 
Even when young, I prayed for wisdom's grace. In temple courts, I sought her day and night. And I will seek her to the very end. She is my heart's delight. My foot has firmly walked the path of truth. With diligence, I followed her design. My ear was open to receive her words. Now wisdom's skill is mine. Glory to one who gives me wisdom's prize. I vowed to live according to her way. She gave me courage from the very start. She will not let me stray. Something within my being has been stirred. My seeking brought a gift beyond compare. The gift of language loosed my halting tongue. God's praise is now my prayer. A reading from Paul's first letter <clears throat> to the church in Corinth. Now in the following instructions, I do not commend you because when you come together, it is not for the better, but for the worse. For to begin with, when you come together as a church, I hear that there are divisions among you, and to some extent I believe it. Indeed, there have, there have to be factions among you, for only so will it become clear who among you are genuine. When you come together, it is not really to eat the Lord's Supper. For when the time comes to eat, each of you goes ahead with your own supper, and one goes hungry, and another becomes drunk. What? Do you not have homes to eat and drink in? Or do you show contempt for the church of God and humiliate those who have nothing? What should I say to you? Should I commend you? In this matter, I do not commend you. For I received from the Lord what I also handed on to you, that the Lord Jesus on the night when he was betrayed took a loaf of bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, this is my body that is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, he took the cup also after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink the cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Whoever therefore eats the bread or drinks the cup of the Lord in an unworthy manner will be answerable for the body and blood of the Lord. Examine yourselves, and only then eat of the bread and drink of the cup. For all who eat and drink without discerning the body, eat and drink judgment against themselves. For this reason, many of you are weak and ill, and some have died. But if we judge ourselves, we would not be judged. But when we are judged by the Lord, we are disciplined so that we may not be condemned along with the world. So then, my brothers and sisters, when you come together to eat, wait for one another. If you're hungry, eat at home so that when you come together, it will not be for your condemnation. About the other things, I will give you instructions when I come. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our second canticle, A Song of God's Love. Together, beloved, let us love one another, for love is of God. Whoever does not love does not know God, for God is love. In this, the love of God was revealed among us, that God sent the Lord's only Son into the world so that we might live through Jesus Christ. In this is love, not that we loved God, but that God loved us and sent the Son that sins might be forgiven. Beloved, since God loved us so much, we ought also to love one another, for if we love one another, God abides in us, and God's love will be perfected in us. The Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. O Lord, save thy people and bless thine heritage. Govern them and lift them up forever. Day by day we magnify thee. And we worship thy name ever, world without end. Vouchsafe, O Lord, to keep us this day without sin. O Lord, have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us. O Lord, let thy mercy be upon us. As our trust is in thee. O Lord, in thee have I trusted. Let me never be confounded. O Lord, O God, with you is the well of life, and in your light we see light. Quench our thirst with living water, and flood our darkened minds with heavenly light. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, almighty and everlasting God, who hast safely brought us to the beginning of this day, defend us in the same with thy mighty power, and grant that this day we fall into no sin, neither run into any kind of danger, but that we, being ordered by thy governance, may do always what is righteous in thy sight, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O God, who hast made of one blood all the peoples of the earth, and didst send thy blessed Son to preach peace to those who are far off and to those who are near, grant that people everywhere may seek after thee and find thee, bring the nations into thy fold, pour out thy Spirit upon all flesh, and hasten the coming of thy kingdom, through the same thy Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please join me in a prayer attributed to Francis. Lord, make us instruments of your peace. Where there is hatred, let us sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is discord, union. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. Where there is sadness, joy. Grant that we may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. I welcome your intercessions and thanksgivings. Prayers this morning for all who are seeking to grow, for those who are seeking to deepen their relationship with God, for all who are seeking change. Lord, we ask that you strengthen and encourage them and support them, give them the opportunities to learn and grow, and let them find a place of community where they can do so. Amen. In the Anglican cycle of prayer, we pray for the Diocese of Colorado and the Episcopal Church. The Diocesan cycle of prayer, we pray for the Ministry of Transition Consultants. We offer together the general thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, thine unworthy servants, do give thee most humble and hearty thanks for all thy goodness and loving kindness to us and to all. We bless thee for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for thine inestimable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we beseech thee, give us that due sense of all thy mercies, that our hearts may be unfeignedly thankful and that we show forth thy praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to thy service, mm -hmm. and by walking before thee in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with thee and the Holy Ghost be all honor and glory, world without end. Amen. Almighty God, who has given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication unto thee, and hast promised through thy well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, thou wilt be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, the desires and petitions of thy servants as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of thy truth, and in the world to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace and believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 
Well, everyone, thank you for joining us for morning prayer. We appreciate your presence and we bid you a great day. Please do join us uh, tomorrow morning for morning prayer. We'll see you then. And of course, like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. Give us that thumbs up. And of course, give us a follow on Facebook. If we ever manage to get up online and get live again, we, which I sincerely hope and pray for. Have a great day. Enjoy the weather. Take care. God bless.